Hello everyone, welcome to our PAL World Survival Guide. We are talking about breeding today, how to build a farm, uh, and how to get started with breeding basically. Uh, so if you want to get going on breeding, which is a kind of like a very important mechanic in PAL World, uh, it, it allows you to uh, start to kind of filter out certain passive skills that you don't want your pals to have, as well as, you know, acquire ones that you do want to have. And it's a very, like, lengthy process. It's a very random process. You can kind of, like, push things in, in certain directions, but the ultimate outcome is a little bit of luck, if you ask me. Um, and uh, but, but the end result is you could have some very powerful uh, pals uh, as you know as the as your outcome so uh, if you want to get going on that let's let's just dive right in so uh, the breeding farm is what you need and it's quite the name for that I mean it's very accurate as what it is to you know its purpose uh, but it unlocks at level 19 and you will need two tech points to unlock it let's go ahead and unlock that we're ready to go we're ready to start our first uh, you know, breeding group. <laughs> um, so we have it. Uh, let's build this and we'll find it in the PAL section, which makes sense. Uh, to build it, we're going to need 100 wood, 20 stone, and then 50 fibers. It's a little bit expensive, but not crazy. I'm going to see if I can put it on this thing. I don't know if I'm going to, I might have to like just put it somewhere and then kind of deal with uh, the consequences. I'm not even going to snap it on here for some reason. Interesting. All right, well, we're just going to put it down. Blue. We're going to find some room because I'm just we're running out of space here. Actually, you know what? I really should actually maybe I might bring this to my second base location because I really don't have much going on there. So actually, let's quick do that. Let's uh, let's do that. So I'm going to need I'm going to, go, I'm going to have to go bring my stuff now. Although I think I have enough wood and stone there. So we'll just take the fiber. Uh, where else are we hiding fiber in here? Because it said I had 50 some. Where are you hiding fibers? Where are they putting you? There you are. All right, so let's quick go to the other base location. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure I have enough wooden stone there. And other than, like, mining, there's really not much going on. So I have plenty of space over on this side. There they are, busy at, at work. We'll actually put it, I think we'll put it, like, kind of, like, on this side. So there we are. And then we'll just kind of... I want to put it right up against it but like right there looks good to me so we'll put that there now it's gonna take uh, a hot minute to build i don't quite know where the timer is i'm not close enough to it oh there we are so yeah two minutes so it's gonna take a little bit uh to be honest let's actually bring maybe a buddy out help me uh yeah that brought down a significant amount there we go that's that's much more like it we have pen king helping out too in theory somewhere around here But yeah, two minutes twenty-five seconds if you don't have any help. <laughs> so it's a bit of a, a bit of a long build. Richard, you're struggling with your task. That's because you don't know when to take a break, bud. That's on you. All right, amazing. So here it is, uh, the breeding farm. So how does this all work? So uh, there are like kind of two main, I guess, re uh, requirements for uh you know getting your your brand new baby pal the first is that you do need a male and a female pal assigned to this uh farm you basically kind of pick them up you throw them in here and you assign them to this uh workstation basically now it does need to be a male and female now that said it doesn't need not it does not need to be the same pal type so you don't need like you could do like a male lambel for example and then a female kativa it doesn't have to be like two lambels so and that's kind of how you get into different breeding combinations too so but again male and female you gotta be in there the other half of this is that you also need cake uh the cake is kind of what they use to drop the eggs so you'll assign them here and if you don't have like a cake available just yet we'll say we'll start to like breed but they won't actually drop an egg until you until they have uh, cake and you put the cake right in here uh, so that only they can access the cake uh, none of the guys out here will eat the cake which is ideal um, and that's kind of like how you go about that now if you don't have cake yet we'll quick go to our other base where our uh, cooking pot is you do need the cooking pot to make the cake um, which we have one in the back over here kind of out of the way because you know I don't need people catching on fire, me or the pals. So here's our cake right there. You'll need five flour, eight red berries, seven milk, 
eight eggs and then two honey and uh you know you just do that and you make it and i will say it does take a little bit for honey to, or not for honey um for cake uh to be made so uh you might want to try and put on like a tier three or tier four ideally uh kindling pal to kind of speed up the process or at the very least maybe have like more than one cooking pot one for for cakes or a few cakes uh, and then the other for like your your actual food stuff because it, it, it takes a while it takes a while for for cakes to be made so uh, then you just put the cake in that box and uh, the two pals that are assigned to it will drop an egg you then take that egg you put it in an incubator and it will start to incubate and then obviously depending on the size uh, that might take a, a long time or a short time um, and that's kind of how the process like the the mechanic behind it sort of works now, when it comes to <laughs> look at this guy <laughs> bless when it comes to uh actual like combinations that's where you have two ways that you can kind of um go about it really uh you can just throw pals in there and see what comes out if you don't want to like look up anything which is you know kind of a fun way to do it like if you don't want to like really spoil yourself and just kind of have that moment of like oh this is what happened this is what i got you know that's kind of fun um so you can certainly do that you just kind of have to assign two different pals and put them in there i will say if you assign two pals of the same type you tend to get that exact pal so if i did put two lambles in here i'd be getting a lamble as, as the as the child so uh that is kind of how that works um and or if you don't want to if you want to if you want to breed specifically because you know cakes at the very beginning anyway aren't always the easiest thing to make obviously when you're more developed you'll be making cakes like no problem but at the beginning it could be a little a bit more difficult uh you can use um apps or sites that actually list out all the different combinations my favorite is actually palworld.gg i will put a link in that in the description i love that one uh, because it shows you not only uh, the different um, combinations for like a uh, a child but also if you want a specific child but you don't know what the parents are you can search like the specific child and then it'll show you all the combinations to get that uh, so I find that very very helpful the way they do that and then I think they have like a bunch of other things on there too that are also helpful but uh, that is what I prefer to use uh, when I'm breeding because I, I, I don't have time to unfortunately discover all the, the fun things on my own but it is what it is. Um, so I definitely recommend those. And then obviously uh, there are some expert uh, uh, creators out there who really dive deep into the breeding process. But um, so you can definitely, if you want to go a little bit deeper into how all this works, by all means, check some of them out. Um, just a quick little YouTube search will, will do ya. But the kind of gist here is that when you are breeding a pal, they have a chance of uh, developing like a like a skill and i'm not talking about like worker skills those will stay the same to, based on like what what the pal is but there's like those little passive skills that like the that the that these guys have so like if i um quick go back here i guess uh we can see like uh our little duma dumid here has like the logging foreman and abnormal skills uh which are passive skills those can change um and back in the day i think like they inherited these and then the devs kind of changed how that works so i don't think that's the case anymore uh somebody's a little bit more up to date on our whole process i haven't actually like dove dove deep into what they changed uh can you know uh let me know in the comments what exactly has what they did but from what i from what i understand uh the, the part the bits that i've gleaned is that it's no longer the case it's a little bit more random now um which uh is i guess gives you something more to do right keep reading till you find the things that you want but a little bit more frustrating if you're trying to breed out a certain skill or breed in a certain skill so uh but that's kind of like it like you'll, you'll end up with a baby uh not really a baby it's a fully grown pal but the child uh that has some sort of passive skill and maybe it's inherited by the parent maybe it's not um, I know that, like, and again, I don't know if this happened before the change, but I had, like, a lucky pal that I had uh, put in as one of the breeding partners, and its child ended up with the lucky uh, skill as well. And I don't know if that was just luck <laughs> or if, uh, if something else was going on there, because, again, I, I can't can't quite recall if I did that before or after the, the, the big change in breeding happened. But, uh, so, yes, it's kind of, like, um, how that kind of works, like, and what the purpose of this is. It's, like, yes, you can potentially get, like, a new pal, 
uh, uh, like a high level pal, even as a as an early beginner, if you have like the right other kind of you know combinations to get to it, and then also you can start to kind of try and get pals that have powerful passive skills, which you know makes them better workers, makes them better fighters, all of that. So breeding is obviously very important in Power World, and it can take a lot of time. I know there's a lot of people out there who you know devote a lot of time to that, and that's, that's amazing for them. I uh, respect the heck out of them for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's really kind of like all about the, the breeding farm and kind of how the process works. Um, I wish you luck. I hope you find and receive pals that you are uh, looking for. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.